Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so Cancer, we're going to start with a quote. And the quote is like the people who like you it's so much easier chasing after people and validation from people who clearly are not showing you that they like you or that they love you or they want to be with you in the capacity that you want to be with them is a nightmare and it's toxic and it's codependent and speaking of codependency we have the devil card showing up with sobriety um, some significant change has happened in your um, your life. Uh, cancer with the Six of Pentacles in the Wheel of Fortune showing up also. Something changed the dynamic of a relationship. Like somebody had the power here. Um, the power dynamic was that one person was given to maybe more than two people or two situations. Um, and they felt like they, they yielded the power. They held the power. Now, this could be you. This could be the other person. But it looks like there was some significant change there. It, it could even have been with a soulmate, twin flame, somebody that you had a lot of love for. They had a lot of love for you. But something ended here. Um, the wheel has turned maybe into maybe a negative downward spiral for someone because the power dynamic has shifted. Someone took their power back. Someone took their ball and they went home. They no longer wanted to play. This could be you, Cancer, or the other person. So now it's made you maybe even fall into some toxic ways. Because the channel message I was getting off camera was when I wake. I don't know what you do when you wake. Some people wake and bake. So people think about someone, something, somebody's doing something excessively. And codependency is, you know, um, excessive emotional, psychological reliance on the other partner. So with this person leaving, it, it brought the other person to a place of negativity, toxicity, having to deal with their own demons, having to deal with their own self. Maybe they started drinking, started club and party I don't know um, something to where somebody decided to not address their issues or, or maybe even the issues came to the forefront but the cards are asking for cancer to remain in that sobriety or find your sobriety some of you spend a lot of money on pleasurable things tangible things cars clothes food drink drugs whatever and you know it's your prerogative i can't get in your you know bank account and tell you what to do but um somebody's the cards are asking you um uh, to deal with your issues okay uh seek help with the sobriety card also with the dietary change um some of you you're not thinking clear because you're clouding your judgment and your clarity with food, drink, alcohol, just overindulgence here, especially with the devil card showing up. Somebody is like going into depression too um, because they are suppressing something. Some of you, there's money coming into you and this is your season. Happy birthday, by the way. Sorry. Um, because you do have the windfall card. Looks like you've been working, been working hard. So that's really good. Um, because you also have great fortune. So this is like a winning streak, being on a winning streak. It doesn't say that for the rest of your life or the duration of your life, you're gonna have great fortune. But it says right now, your, your luck is good. Things are good for you, you know, uh, capitalize on that energy. Some of you definitely you need to have go to the doctor. Um, there needs to be a healthcare change. Something you do, you don't do, you need to start doing or 
something you do too much of with that devil card you need to stop i don't know what it could be um you need to be more um, motivated to make some changes maybe even in your own body um so this will be new exercise program um you may have packed on the pounds or you may have lost a lot of weight i don't know but uh your body is trying to talk to you um listen there is an end of an era here um, and for some of you it's going to be that you put in an ending to maybe toxic connections um, to a connection where there's a lot of codependency um, and maybe for somebody over here and you didn't even know you were that dependent on this person until they withdrew themselves some of you could be focused on changing jobs or wanting a new job or getting a new job or trying to bring in more money and uh, stability for yourself. Some of you, you're focused on um, actual official proceedings or some proceedings. You need to go to court. There's some court documentation or someone is presenting you with that. Could be an older man here who is not specifically your man. Um, he could also be married here. Um, but this person is significant in your life for whatever reason. This person could want to revive something with you. The friendship, the relationship, excuse me, the romantic relationship. They want your attention. Uh, they definitely want a reunion with you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Gemini, somebody wants to have sex with the other person very greatly. Um, somebody sees them as the perfect person, the perfect connection. Somebody was somebody saving grace or their guidance or somebody gave the other person guidance. Somebody liked the fact that the relationship was non-committal or didn't have many strings attached because somebody was already coupled or they didn't they just didn't allow that person in their heart space. Um, and it would be just about sex and intimacy, but we could um we could act like we were family. And I don't know what that's about. Somebody definitely wants to heal the connection. You know, waiting patiently for the opportunity to do so. You know, waiting again. Because somebody's codependent on your energy, uh, cancer. It's just that you may be thinking about going into business for yourself. Um, a message of concern could be coming to you. Uh, this is this might be an attempt for somebody to try to start something back up with you. And it might just be sexual in nature. This person may even act like their their health is failing, so that they can get you into bed. They have great, they hold you in high regard, okay? They think that you're a gift. This is a very close connection. You gotta have a close connection. But that's all it is, it's a connection. It's not a real relationship and there's no growth here. Maybe because somebody's keeping it stagnant. They just aren't even able to give you what you want. The cards they just focus on bringing in new energy for yourself, having a dietary change. You know that the end of an era, maybe of being a side chick or side dude or getting cheated on or lying, people lying to you is over. Some of you have gone and filed papers uh, in, in terms of a divorce. It says right now that things are going very well for you in your career. Um, your hands are in a lot of pots um, because there's some emotional turmoil going on in your life. You may be self-medicating, overspending, overeating, overindulging, whatever. I don't know. You might want to join a group of people who can actually help you, okay? 
volunteered to speak about what's going on with you with trusted individuals and rest like really get some sleep because the champ message was when I wake I don't know how you feel when you wake or you feel unrested and not you don't feel well rested so cancer this is your reading I hope that it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below also donate to the channel if you feel the move to do so by clicking the buy me a coffee link thank you cancer many blessings to you take care